Hey guys, it's Hey Guys, it's Steel here. Today I wanted to go through and explain the basics about all the vehicles in this game, as well as a few things that you want to know before making a vehicle. Also, before we begin, only a small percent. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just messing with you. God, I don't know if it's just me, but I hate it when people use the watch time percentage to convince people to join their channel. You know, this was actually going to be a funny bit until I saw how abysmally low that number was. Jesus Christ, I really do need people to subscribe. <laughs> but, uh, I will not be using this chart in the future to try and make people subscribe to my channel. So, if you also hate that like I do, then welcome. Okay, getting back into it. All of the vehicles in this game have the same exact crafting recipe, other than the basic wooden hoverboard. So there are really no disadvantages or advantages to be had here. So I will be going over the vehicles in the order you unlock them. This means first up is the wooden hoverboard. You get this unlocked pretty early and it's really cheap to make, which means it's actually a pretty good idea to make a lot of these and then use them whenever you're exploring a new island. It will make exploring islands a lot faster. Other than that, it's all in all pretty much the same as the normal hoverboard, without the flashy look to it. So, next up are the normal hoverboard and the motorcycle. The hoverboard is very versatile and fast, but going fast uses stamina, which is a unique property to hoverboards. You can still ride on platforms you build and over water, which means that you'll be able to use it most of the time. It doesn't turn as well as the motorcycle, but you have the ability to jump over things while riding it, which makes it so that avoiding obstacles still isn't that difficult. The motorcycle, on the other hand, isn't able to go over the water or jump, but it is able to turn extremely well and move quickly without using stamina. The turning and speed of the motorcycle make it extremely fun to use, but you can't do any ramping because you can't travel on platforms that you've built. Next is the helicopter. There isn't much to say about it. It functions pretty much like what you would expect. The one thing I do have to say is that I'm pretty sure that when you press shift, it doesn't move any faster, but it still gives you the speed particles. Finally, the last two are the buggy and the hot air balloon. The buggy functions pretty well. It appears to be a bit slower and less maneuverable than the motorcycle, but in every other sense, it is the same as it. Last up, and probably also least, is the hot air balloon. While it is probably the most interesting vehicle, it's not very fun to use. This is because of its extremely low speed. There are quite a few things that make it interesting though. For one, it has the largest health pool, making it difficult for enemies to destroy it. You can also stand on it while it is running, even though you aren't actually riding the vehicle. This means that the durability doesn't go down, and you can do other things like crafting or shooting while riding it. These traits make it more unique than the other vehicles. Now that I've gone through all the vehicles, there's something I'd like to talk about. The biggest problem with the vehicles is that they blow up when they run out of durability. This can be used against enemies, but it is mostly extremely annoying and harms you. The buggy and motorcycle deal extreme amounts of damage, while everything else only deals a little bit. When testing in my world, the buggy and motorcycle dealt about 1k damage when they blew up, while all other vehicles did 20. All in all, my favorite vehicle has to be the motorcycle, while the hoverboard is a close second. The feel of riding the motorcycle and the extreme fun of barely avoiding obstacles means that I often find myself making a new motorcycle and driving it around just for fun. So I hope you guys find as much enjoyment with the motorcycle as I do. These were the basics of the vehicles in Craftopia so far, and if you enjoyed the video, then like, subscribe, and keep watching. As the power who's next I show my crew next Cash in my last check